Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Life with Val. My name is Valencia and I take you guys with me on my journey of trying to navigate adulthood and basically share that with you guys and take you guys along um, for this journey. So today's video is a bit of a different one than the ones that I normally post and that's just because this is something that is very dear to my heart. Um, I've actually been a bit hesitant about recording this but I knew it was something that I wanted to talk about. Um, and that is just, I guess, my journey of diabetes. And I will just drop the link down below, but I did share my diagnosis story. I think it's about four years ago. And I can't believe that I'm actually seven years into being a type one diabetic. So I last week actually rewatched that video and it just gave me all the feels because I just looked at myself and I realized, wow, you're going through so much. And you know, it just, it just really touched me. And um, on the 8th of July, that is my diversary, so we call it a diabetic um, anniversary. And basically that, what that means is on the 8th of July this year, I celebrated seven years of having diabetes. And I guess I just wanted to update, update people on my journey because where I was three, four years ago is not where I am today. And I won't lie, I'm not gonna say that it's gotten any easier, in fact, I kid you not, today, I'm, this is actually something I am still struggling with. Um, sorry for the sound, that's just my fridge. Um, but it's something that still till today I'm dealing with. And one thing that I've actually started going to therapy just to kind of help me come to terms with it. And it was just understanding that this is something that is part of my journey and not necessarily something that has been given to me to hold me back and to make you know it's not it's not anything bad on me it's just this is this is the challenge that you have and this is part of your journey and if you guys actually go back and watch that video what stands out for me was as i was and for the longest time i think ever since until i started therapy i always just thought that you know having diabetes means i'm going to die soon and or maybe not soon but it was just much easier to do so but i guess the point that I'm, I'm now learning is that having an illness and having a chronic illness does not mean death. And it's important to know that it is just a part of your journey. It is something that you're going to get through. And yeah, I think this is, that really just changed the game for me because my whole outlook was just, I have a life sentence and I'm stuck and that's it. But what I'm learning is that it's not. If I had to just give a brief update of my journey, I mean, I am still using the same medication or I'm using some of them are the same. So I'm still using a Novo Rapid, um, fast acting insulin. And currently my doctor now are trying to use Tejo, Tejo, um, just to try and I guess manage my sugars better. I haven't, my um, HbA1c, which is your blood test that you do or you should be doing every three months, to check your average um, glucose for the period. That was a bit high, so I'm trying a different routine being um, this different insulin. So that's definitely something that has changed for me, but the frequency of injections are still the same. I am still using five injections a day, and I'm now also taking an additional tablet, um, glucophage, and that's just because I have this weird thing at night where my sugars decide to spike when I'm sleeping. It's called the Dawn Syndrome. So I take glucophage to kind of help stabilize that um, sudden increase. And then I guess the next part about it is quite cool. I have a glucose monitor, continuous glucose monitor. It is the Freestyle Libra. Oh my word, I chose one that has, give me a second. I wanted one which actually shows the picture. But this is my Freestyle Libra sensor. Um, it is literally the size of, it's almost like a five rand coin. And you literally just kind of, stamp it onto your skin and I'll try and show pictures of it because to show you guys right now would mean taking off my clothes and I don't want to do that. So I'll just put some pictures and maybe some videos of it on um, on this video so that you guys can see what it looks like. But basically what this allows me to do is literally um, you have the app on your phone and then you literally just tap the device and it tells you your glucose reading. And this is something that I really needed because I absolutely hate finger pricking just to tell me what my sugar levels are. So being able to just tap my phone on my arm and just see, okay, I'm going to be fine or my sugar's high, my sugar's are low and deal with it is so much better. I find myself actually testing 
14, 15 times a day because it's just a tap of the phone. And honestly, this has just made things so much easier because now that I know, I can do something about it. And you can generate reports easily to send to doctors, to send to caregivers. Honestly, this was, it is a worthy investment. And the reason why I'm deciding to call it an investment is because it's very expensive. Uh, one box, so just this one sensor, costs 990 Rand. Um, and it only lasts for 14 days. So for a month, you're looking at 1,980 Rand. Um, but it is... It is an investment in that if this is something that you think will help you, then honestly, it's, it's priceless. Like, this is something that's going to benefit your health. And currently, the place that delivers it is the Center of Diabetes and Endocrinology. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. I got it so wrong. Cardiovascular Diabetes Education, the CDE. And this is their website here, cdeonline.co.za. And basically, you order it from them and they can get it delivered. I ordered my new boxes, um, I think I ordered it on Tuesday and I got it on Thursday. So that's like a two day, two, three day lead time before you actually get your senses. So I would definitely recommend doing it because it's really just made life so much easier for me. So guys, I just wanted to get a bit closer and just show you guys what it looks like. It's literally this big and the back of it is just like a very strong adhesive. And if you look, this is what goes into your skin. It's like a little filament. Sorry. You guys see. Very bendy and it's not so at all. So it's not so to apply this little thing. Um, just again, it's not so to apply it at all. Um, but removing it, I did find it a bit painful, mostly because I struggled to get the adhesive part off of my skin. Um, but apart from that, it's really not sore. And then you just wipe your ad the adhesive off with um, like coconut oil or something. But I mean, this is all you have to deal with. And I mean, it's literally a little and then it sits on your skin like that. So yeah, definitely recommend getting this if you are a diabetic. Another thing that has also kind of just changed my diabetes journey is I had to start seeing a dietitian again because of the high sugar lows, um, highs and lows, sorry. Um, and basically what she told me was i needed to start snacking almost three times a day which means i'm up to like eating six times a day which which seems like a lot and honestly it actually works because there's no spikes in your sugar because your snacks are usually something that has protein and a little bit of carbs to kind of just help keep your sugar stable and i actually think this is this is something that i absolutely suck at because i can't imagine eating all the time but i need to just get into the the routine of incorporating these snacks just to keep my sugars more stable. So that is also something that has actually changed in my diabetes journey. So it would definitely be just trying to change my men men mental, trying to change the way that I think about it because it's honestly, I find myself always getting frustrated and crying and just being so upset every time I, I Every time my sugar's high, every time my sugar's low, it just I get so frustrated with myself. And I get so frustrated with my body as well because it, it is almost like you brought this on yourself because mine is not genetic. And it's literally your own cells attacking your pancreas, which is why you end up being a diabetic. So there's a lot of fighting against my body. And since my body's failing me, I'm frustrated with it. And I mean, at the end of the day, I'm still alive. And I'm trying to focus on the fact that I'm alive and all I need to do is an injection and then you'll be okay. You need to eat right. And, you know, I've made such a conscious effort to start eating more veggies because, to be honest, I never ate veggies as like a side. But now it's like protein and then more veggies and less carbs. But it's always important to just keep it a balanced diet. Um, if you do want me to go into more detail about my diet, I can definitely make a video about how or the things that I've learned from the dietitian and how I'm trying to incorporate that. Um, and then I guess the last thing is just this exercise. And this is also something that I was struggling with because I got to a stage where I felt like I was forced to gym all the time. And I'm just trying to understand that, yes, you need to exercise almost every day or on a frequent basis, but it is going to help you. And once I started looking at it like this is just to help you, it's not a burden, 
you just literally 30 minutes is going to make a world of a difference. And I can really see that in the days that I don't actually check my sugars, not check my sugars, the days that I don't exercise, that my sugar levels are so much higher. And I mean, if you're telling me just 30 minutes of exercise can help me manage it, then honestly, that, that's, that's going to be the best thing. And my doctor has actually picked it up in when I do my test that because I'm running and keeping fit, my kidneys aren't suffering because of um because of all the highs and lows but because of my exercise you know they're still like hanging in there but obviously i still need to get my highs and low back together um i also make sure to every year go to a podiatrist to check my feet make sure there's no loss in my um the nerves in my feet because that will get damaged over time so i definitely recommend that if you are a diabetic probably start seeing a podiatrist um, and then you also need to see an ophthalmologist so that your eyes do not get damaged. And I'm very lucky that still seven years into this, my eyes are still fine. There has not been any diabetic damage, but obviously you still need to do the check just to make sure that you are still fine. Um, so those are definitely the things that have changed in my diabetic journey to date. Um, I'm seven years into it and I'm, I'm so blessed to have gotten seven more years of life. When I look back at my YouTube channel, I see all the, all my experiences that I've been able to take. And I also just look at the fact that there's still so many more experiences to come. And I want to make sure that I'm the best version of myself for that. I'm still healthy, that my health is not something that limits me. And I think honestly, that, that's, that's, that's the greatest gift at the end of the day. Um, I've, I'm not saying that I'm speaking to you guys now as someone that is happy or... You know, I'm 100% okay with having a chronic illness. Um, I still get my low points. Um, I still don't really understand why I have it. And I guess it's one of those things that I'm trying to accept that it is what it is. Um, but it is a daily struggle of mine and it is a part of my journey. And I can't really change the fact that I have it. But I can make sure that it's not going to continue to... Or not continue, it's not going to hinder the way that I move forward. So that's definitely something that I'm currently working on. And I do hope that maybe one day when I do decide to do another update video that, you know, mentally we've come to terms with this. But I mean, I'm seven years in the game and I'm still struggling quite a bit. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this was a bit more personal and I know it doesn't really... It might not apply to everyone that is watching. But thank you so much for just listening to me. And just being a part of my journey because this is something that is so important to me and it's I mean that if I just look at the way that I struggle you can't really separate me and the diabetes like we're one and it's something that I'll probably complain about a lot so I really appreciate that appreciate you guys just watching this video and just sympathizing with me and just getting to know me a bit better if you do like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any diabetic related questions please do let me know um, in the comments down below and I will be sure to respond um, give me a like give me a comment and please do subscribe and share my channel as we continue to grow I'll see you guys in my next video bye